Welcome to Rocky Broad Solar, where we encourage you to make the current flow. On today's episode, we're going to go over the Span Smart Panel, the smarter way to upgrade your main panel. Let's get into it. So for one, the Span Smart Panel will measure how much electricity you're using in your home on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, and over the course of a year. And that'll just kind of give you an idea of what your energy demand is inside your home. Uh, next, you can remotely control all your home loads as well. So, you know, uh, if you're one of those people that say, takes off to the store and thinks in their back of their head, uh, did I leave the oven on? Well, you can log into your app here on the span panel, check to see if the oven's on. Say you did happen to leave it on, you could remotely shed that circuit until you got home at a later time. Next, it's gonna monitor your individual loads. So not only do you get your overall home's consumption, but you can see what each individual load in your home is using. So, you know, again, if you're trying to figure out why your bills are so high and where you could maybe save a dollar or two, you know, you're gonna have that information at the tip of your hands. So you can also pair the Span Smart Panel with Amazon's Alexa to save money on your utility bills. So for example, you could schedule your heating or air conditioning to go off at a certain time of day, come back on at a certain time of day. Also for those of you with uh, time of use rates where your utility charges you more money for your power at certain times of day, than others, you can kind of program those high energy demand loads to shed during those peak use rates. Uh, next, you can use it to avoid service upgrades when adding large electrical loads to your home. So one thing that's really common are, are people have the electrical service that was in their home when it was built. Say you've got a 125 amp service, maybe you're in an area like California. A lot of these utilities uh, they've got very outdated underground lines buried that are failing and they pass that that cost on to the homeowner. So when the homeowner wants to upgrade their service, they essentially charge the homeowner to replace their lines between the transformer and the customer's home. And in some cases, that can be a significant amount of money, tens of thousands of dollars to, uh, to upgrade those underground lines, upgrade your main panel, Oftentimes the panels were put in front of gas meters by your utility companies and, and now that's not allowed anymore. So they're going to pass that cost onto the homeowner, it's not only make you upgrade those underground lines, but they're going to make you move your main panel uh, away from those gas lines to be up to code. So again, if you're adding large loads to your home, a lot of times, say if you had a 125 amp service and you wanted to add an electric vehicle charger or get a turn of the century heating and air conditioning in your home, well, your electrical service isn't capable of that. And so you're gonna need to upgrade that service. And so what Span can do, instead of having to upgrade your service, it can sort of intelligently manage the load in your home so that you don't really need to upgrade your service. For example, you know, if you have an electric vehicle charging at the same time that your heating and air conditioning comes on, it can sort of curtail one or the other loads back to keep your electricity usage in the home less than 125 amps, therefore at the rating of your service. Whereas normally with a traditional electrical panel, you know, you would have to upgrade that electrical panel. So next, you can pair the Span Smart Panel with solar and energy storage. And what's great about that configuration is when the power goes out, if you've got uh, solar and battery backup for utility outages and uh, the power goes out, all the, all the loads in your home are running and backed up. Um, a lot of times you don't really want to use your precious battery power to run these really high demand loads like air conditioning or heating or water heating, um, stoves, dryer, things of that nature. You really wanna save that power a lot of times for your most critical stuff like lights, outlets, refrigerators, freezers, 
things of that nature. So what the span smart panel can do when paired with solar and energy storage, when that utility outage occurs, it can automatically be programmed to shed those high demand loads uh, to, to save your precious battery power for another time. It can also do that based on the battery state of charge. So maybe you want it to run everything in your home until your battery bank has been reduced down to say 50% at which case you'll want to shed those high demand loads, saving that other half of your batteries for the, those really critical circuits. So the Span Smart Panel has kind of three different options there. That's going to be the must have, nice to have, and not needed. Uh, so the not needed, obviously, as soon as the power goes out, those loads are going to be shed. Uh, th those nice to have circuits are going to kind of be those ones that maybe run during an outage until your battery is depleted to a certain percentage, in which case it'll shed those loads. And then lastly, those must have are just something that you're never gonna wanna go without, such as your internet router or some lights and outlets in the bedrooms and bathrooms and kitchen. Uh, also, Span's got their own proprietary electric vehicle charger. This is called the Span Drive. And so what the span drive can do, uh, can do a few things. Again, it can sort of curtail that charging back when other high demand loads come on to make sure that you're, you're kind of never using more than your service can provide. Um, aside from that, again, for those customers in those areas on time of use rates where your utility is charging you a lot of money for power sometimes a day and then really cheap power, say in the middle of the night at three o'clock in the morning, so what you can do is program your span drive to only charge during those off-peak rates when your electricity is inexpensive. If you're getting value out of today's content, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe, press that notification bell, or leave a comment down in the description below. Let's get back into it. One thing to bring up is that, you know, a lot of homes don't have one single electrical panel all in one spot. Probably about 50% of the homes in the, in the US might have a, a, a meter combination load center outside of your home where you've got the meter and a handful of breakers outside and then you might have an interior sub panel somewhere in your home or some people may have multiple sub panels you know if it's an older home and it's had multiple additions or things of that nature so in that configuration it does make things a little more difficult uh, again, ideally, you always want the span panel to measure your overall home's consumption. So you're going to kind of really want that thing to be your, your main service panel, kind of where all loads are in it or downstream of the span panel. And that way, you're always getting the full consumption in your home. But if you have downstream sub panels and standard electrical panels somewhere else inside your home, you kind of have a couple different options there. So the span panel can feed up to a 90 amp breaker. So, you know, if you have a remote sub panel that can, can work off of 90 amps or less, you can feed that sub panel with a 90 amp breaker. The span panel will still monitor that load and, and you know, you'll just know, hey, interior sub panel has used uh, 10,000 kilowatt hours over the course of the last quarter. So when connected with that breaker, you can still manage that sub panel. You can have, again, that whole sub panel be shed during an outage, or you can turn it off and on with your app and you can also monitor the consumption. Next, if that sub panel needs significantly more than 90 amps, the span panel has a set of what's called feed through lugs in the bottom. And that's a real common uh, addition to an electrical panel. And that allows you to put conductors right into the bottom up to 200 amps and feed or downstream sub panel. Now with the span panel, you're still gonna be able to monitor that usage from the feed through lugs, but you won't have that ability to control anything connected to the feed through lugs. You can only control loads that are connected via a breaker inside of the span panel. So your next option is a multiple span panel installation. If you've got say a panel outside by the meter, another panel inside, you know, 75 feet inside of your home on an interior wall. You can have a span panel on the outside of your home and have a span panel on the inside of your home. And that way, again, you will get that 
load level monitoring of every single load in your home. You'll be able to control every single load in your home and have the kind of the full benefits of the Span Smart Panel setup. So the Span Smart Panel is compatible with all the mainstream solar and energy storage systems on the market these days. Now with Franklin Whole Home, it's gonna pair up with that with just a simple ethernet cable. And again, it's gonna be a fully integrated system where the two different manufacturers are talking to each other, giving each other that very detailed information to make sure that your system works flawlessly together. Uh, now the same goes with both the Tesla Powerwall 2 and the Tesla Powerwall 3. Tesla and Span work together with simple communications to be, give you a fully integrated system uh, that just works flawless. The same goes for the Solar Edge Home Hub ecosystem. Just a simple communications cable between the two components. The software works together, it talks together, and it provides each other with that important information needed to give you that, that perfect setup. Uh, lastly, you've got the Enphase ecosystem. So Enphase, unfortunately, uh, they have not integrated the software together, so it's not a fully compatible system. With Enphase, what you're gonna need is to add what's called a span remote meter. So the span remote meter is just another box that you put on the wall. Uh, it's got some voltage references and some CT clamps that need to be installed to integrate the in-phase ecosystem with the span panel. And so, you know, you're gonna have to basically get a voltage reference to tell the, the, the span smart meter when the power goes out. Um, so it knows when to shed those loads and it's gonna be using current transformers to monitor current coming in and out of certain components to kind of provide the span panel the information it needs to know what's going on with the Enphase system. One downside with that, that setup, the, the span Enphase integration, is that you know that information is not perfect. It's not a fully integrated system. So you know the span panel is sort of making its best estimate as far as your Enphase battery state of charge and things of that nature. So oftentimes, if you go look at the Enphase app and look in the span app, things may not match up perfectly. And, and that's just uh, part of not having a fully integrated system like you would with Tesla, Solar Edge, or Franklin Whole Home. That being said, uh, from what I understand, Span is planning to release some software updates here towards the end of the year that should improve that in-phase span integration and get that battery state of charge readings a little bit more accurate. Uh, although again, it's not gonna be that full integration where the two systems are talking to each other without that span remote meter installed. If you're interested in purchasing a span smart panel paired up with either the span drive or some solar and energy storage in your home, go down in the description below, hit that Rocky Broad Solar Intake form. Just take a few minutes to fill out some questions about your specific scenario, and I can get back with you in a few days to customize a pressure-free zero-cost quote. So my opinions on the Span Smart Panel. It's kind of your top-of-the-line system, right? If you're someone that's really techy and really wants to kind of have the, the best of the best in your home, Paired along with energy storage and electric vehicle charging, the span panel is probably for you. It really gives that load, that, that load shedding capability is extremely important with solar and energy storage. Again, when, when you have a utility outage, you really want to save that precious battery power. In certain cases, if you're in a prolonged outage and the span panel gets you that ability to sort of intelligently manage everything in your home from the flip of a switch on your smartphone. Now the Span app, we can look through the Span app. You can download the, the Span app on Google Play or your app store for Apple. And basically, if you download it without an account, you have the ability to sort of play around with the app and scroll through things. It'll show you how to change those must have, nice to have, or not needed loads as you're going through the app. It kind of gives you that energy breakdown on what you're using on a monthly, weekly or daily basis. It'll show you how much of your home has run on solar power or battery storage and how dependent you might be on your utility for electricity. 
Well, thanks so much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, take care.